Welcome to a rainy Friday adventure. Today we are in Florida at the, I'm looking at this so I say it right, Castillo de San Marco. Castillo de San Marco. Anyways, it's raining in Florida because it always rains in Florida and we're going to go check this out today. The top of it is close, they said, because there's been thunder and lightning all over the place. So that sucks, but let's see what there is to see inside. South is you just get used to doing things in the rain till it passes. You're sleeping next to your buddy, really close to your buddy. I can tell the Spanish for no expense with this straw mattress. Parcel of Prison. It's prison. Ooh, creepy. Uh, yeah. Pass. Good side note, if you're gonna tussle a kid's hair, make sure it's your own kid. I almost did that to somebody else's kid that I thought was my kid. Say no. Papa gives <laughs> We cannot go up. We could have been up there on top of, of the batteries. Oh well. Cool review of the whole fort so you can get an idea. This is where we came in right here. Around. This is where we could have walked if it wasn't raining, and right about here, that's where we're in right now. We're gonna work our way that way. Original doors. you guys want to bet that this place is haunted. It's been around since the 1600s, I think is when they built the fort. Pretty sure, pretty sure there's a specter or two. Fortunately, you can't escape the rain because you don't have to. You can see, walk outside the whole time. You can walk through some of these rooms where they connect. The original was lost over a century. Here it created by an Apache prisoner in 1886. The fire dance ceremony was often performed as a blessing to ward off or cure disease or to protect people. spirits and all and I know I get weird about that but it feels weird in here I'm by myself there's nobody else in here I, you can't see because it's oh there you go there's nobody else in here and it feels weird it feels very, it feels very strange I don't know why I'm whispering it feels like I should whisper all right, whatever. let's see if you feel weird I'm all sweaty very quiet in here Hello? Wait a minute, does it feel weird now? This feels a little heavy. Did it feel like you have to whisper? Yes. Did it feel like I had to whisper? Well, I think it's because, I think that sensory of it, being, yeah. like you, here we're having a, a, a presentation right here, but when you go in here, it's, you can't hear hardly anything. So it feels like you have to be super quiet, but it feels really heavy in there. I didn't even know this was back here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, this is weird. Maybe it's just the way it is, but as soon as you walk through this point, it gets warm and like dry. I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna see if Megan, without me telling her, feels the same thing. That's weird, that's weird. It's just so quiet. That cement just absorbs everything. It's weird. Walk through here. Okay. Walk through here. Sensory did it feel like what do you think did you feel a, did you feel that when you walked like a me? temperature or like a it's, change it's very cool in there and hot in here yeah like it's very hot in here it's like right at like a line right there really in here i haven't gone in there yet what's in there okay all right hold on 
Let me crawl in there. Uh, oh, what the heck? Uh. All right, we're on the other side. This is a, uh, I think they have a, a small entrance so that the powder was safe and wouldn't explode. Yeah. It's very humid in here though. It's very humid, which is weird because you're so in here. But Although, I guess it can't, the moisture, but the thing is, is I don't understand with black powder, how how they keep moisture, like humidity away from it. I think that's why Does it's it such a any... small entrance. Plus it's right. sealed. All right, I'm in the powder magazine by myself. It's weird. Maybe I'm just being jumpy. Felt like I heard something. I got stuff behind me. Being dead serious. Okay, I'm going. Oh my god. Why do I do this? Oh god. Oh, it's getting all sunny. Ma'am, is there any chance we'll be able to go up the stairs since it's. Oh, cool. Awesome. We might get up there. These are the old privies or bathrooms. You'd have a wooden floor, you would go to the bathroom down here, and then the seawater would come in and wash it out. The old pooper. <laughs> Bad news, can't go up there today. So it'll probably be at least another 30 minutes or so. We'll come back though. Of course, no fort would be complete without a gift shop. Civil War recipes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're cooking stuff back then. Yeah. I've had heart attack, it's Our not deck. good. Look how shelly it is. Sheltastic. Co What's this stuff called? Coquina? Coquina. Coquina. Like Coquina. Here's the outside of the fort in the moat area here. The sea is right on the other side of this. That's where we came in. Actually see where there's been impacts from cannonballs. I know. Oops, focusing on my finger. Those there are impact holes from the cannonballs. Here, the shot furnace it's called, where they would heat the cannonballs before shooting them at uh, wooden ships. The Americans used that in the revolution for British. Well, that'll do it from Castillo de San Marcos. I was gonna say the fort of Florida. Castillo de San Marcos. Anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, follow. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar.